This week on Whitetail Edge. I don't know what to say. Hi, I'm Ben Rising, and welcome to Whitetail Edge. This week, you're going to follow me into the timber after a big whitetail buck. Whitetail Edge, presented by Woodbury Outfitters. So this week, as we're going after this buck, the thing to keep in mind is, is we're hunting a really steep hillside in the timber. This deer is coming off this hill, headed down to these bottom fields, and then he crosses a road. So I got to get in on this deer and get closer to his bed than normal. I normally don't like to do that too much, but in this case, it's my only choice because the, the fields that this deer goes to, he doesn't hit them till night because they're too close to the roads. But this just happens to be where this deer lives. Well, it's October 21st today. And it's pretty cool out. We've had some rain today. Um, it's just one of them fall, one of those just classic, feels like a big buck kind of day. It's windy, got some rain coming again tomorrow. Um, just, I don't know, it's a little bit low pressure, but I still think these bucks are gonna move possibly tonight. We've got a crop field down in this bottom. We've got a big swampy bottom right here. Big rocky hillside that these deer are bedded in. Bunches of acorns in here. I catch deer coming off this hill. A lot of times is what I where I catch them. They come out of this bedding area up in here and they work this crack down. It's a really tight spot. It's hard to hunt. But we're going to try it. I got Mark Leibarger, my buddy, behind the camera. We're just going to sit here and see what we can do. Mark hasn't filmed me kill a deer since 2004 so in Illinois. So maybe we can uh, rekindle that fire tonight. We're hunting a buck I call Junior. Or another buck I call the Big Ten. Whichever one possibly might walk by. We'll see if I want to shoot them. I don't know yet. Camera pictures are hard to tell. But they're both really nice big deer. And it's kind of early in the year. I hate to fill my tag too quick.
I don't know what to say. I come in after, I come in here after two deer. One I call Junior, and the other one was the Big Ten. And I just shot the Big Ten. I didn't make the best shot, I don't think. <clears throat> Something about this stand and the way it, it's kind of tilted and you're shooting uphill. I think I shot him right, at first I thought I shot him high, but I think I shot him in the shoulder because he bled like crazy <laughs> going down the hill there. I put another one in him, finished him off. Uh, just a great buck. I mean, he's a great buck. Thanks to Mark for filming it for me, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, it's just been a good year. My wife killed a giant. I just killed a giant. One of my hunters killed a, a stud. And I got uh, some more hunters coming here pretty soon. But it's just been a great year here at Wicked Ridge Outfitters. And, and I mean, I'm literally... I'm, 100 yards I bet 75 yards from where these deer are really bedding hard so we snuck in here had a little bit of rain today it was just perfect conditions thank you lord what an absolute pig I got pictures of this deer last year and he really grew a bunch this year just a stud man big Nice dark horn woods buck. What do you think, Bob? <laughs> He's a shooter. <laughs> Gosh, he didn't spend any time out in the daylight, did he? No, he didn't. Look, I mean, he's a he's a big old hill buck, is what he is. He looks good, man. Big old giant hill buck. Introducing the Hawk Helium and Helium XL Hang On Tree Stands. Lightweight yet rugged and durable Hang On Tree Stands. The Helium weighs in at 10 pounds with a sizable 21 by 27 inch platform and the Helium XL weighs in at 12 pounds stepping up with a spacious 24 by 30 inch platform. These lightweight aluminum hang on stands are perfect for packing in and out of hunting locations. The Helium series hang ons feature an oversized grip mesh that's welded at all contact points creating a solid one piece noise free platform. Topped with an ultra comfortable 3 inch memory foam layered seat that conforms to your body to relieve pressure points you can hunt all day in comfort. The seat also flips up and features an angle adjustment. Attaching the helium stands to a tree is quick and easy with silent over molded attachment hooks. Premium Teflon washers ensure no noise or squeak in performance in any hunting conditions. Tree digger teeth bite into bark to provide an added level of confidence and stability. Applied to the helium stands is a premium powder coating for long lasting durability. To see the full lineup of Hawk products visit www.hawkhunting.com. So one thing with Whitetail Edge, we really were trying to teach people about how to kill deer. This isn't just a show about us hunting and shooting deer and then you'd flip the channel and there's something else. We're truly trying to teach you a few little things. And one of the things with this hunt, the, the few keys was, as I'd obviously talked about before, I ran the trail cameras, I figured out what the deer was doing. But the other key to this is knowing the time of year and as you're on your trail cameras, you watch to see when those deer are moving. Now, I was figuring out that this deer, early in October, he was completely nocturnal all the time. But as the weather started to change and he started feeling a little more frisky and his testosterone level started to rise, this buck was starting to move earlier all the time. And I knew it was only a matter of time before he was going to be walking out of that bedding area and it was going to be full daylight and I'd be able to get a shot. Well, that time happened to be October 17th and it also happened to be when the weather pattern pushed him up out of his bed. So we had an awesome cold front come in and it got this deer up on his feet. Now this hunt took place, I think it was back in 2013, but I'm just saying, you know, and that's why also you'll notice in these shows, we all are wearing different stuff because we didn't have any of the sponsors that we have now. But in 2017 fall, you're gonna see us in all the gear all the time of the sponsors that we have. But we were just making do with what we had through all this stuff. And luckily, we've been blessed with these sponsors to be with us now. But anyways, the key to this hunt was the weather pattern, knowing what this deer was doing, 
and waiting for the right wind and monitoring the cameras to know that he was going to move eventually in daylight and when that was going to be. So if your deer is constantly staying nocturnal all the time or not showing up to your cameras till dark or way after dark, you, sometimes you got to sit there and think, all right, well, is this deer even betting on me or is he way far away? You know, look at those little things and start piecing the puzzle together and it'll help you big time. Hey, thanks for following us this week on Whitetail Edge. We really appreciate you guys viewing. Hopefully, you guys are learning something. And if you got questions, email us. Go to whitetailedge.com. Fill out the contact form, whatever. We'll help you guys out. You know, we've got merchandise. Follow me on Instagram, BenRising204. Follow the other team guys. You know, dig into us, and we hope you like Whitetail Edge. We'll see you next week. Whitetail Edge is brought to you by Rocky. Hoy, Big Time, HHA Sports, Redneck Hunting Blinds, On Time Wildlife Feeders, Whitetails Unlimited, Advantage Ag and Equipment, Michael Waddell's Bone Collector, Black Widow Deer Lures, Bone Booster Mineral, Hawk Tree Stands, Hunt from Above. Be sure to follow Whitetail Edge on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.